Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski, and today I'm going to be showing off some single encounter fishing shiny hunting locations that you guys might want to check out. Alright, so first things first, there's a couple of things you guys are going to need to bring with you if you want to do some fishing shunting. So, first things first, you're obviously going to need your super rod in each region, so make sure for whichever region we're going through today, you have a super rod in it. We will be touching each region for at least one spot. Now, there's also a couple Pokemon that we might want to bring. First things first, probably the most important Pokemon to any fishing shunt is actually going to be a Sticky Hold or Suction Cup Pokemon. And I've explained this in a video that I've called Oob Abilities, which is out of battle abilities in Pokemon. But essentially, Sticky Hold and I believe Suction Cup increase the chance of fish biting while fishing. So that means more encounters per hour, which means a faster shiny hunt, which is a really big deal because fishing encounters are quite slow. For my testing, I've gone anywhere from around 100 to 180 encounters per hour. So it's a pretty slow hunt considering the shiny rate is one out of 30,000. So having a sticky hold or a suction cup Pokemon is super important and can be the most important tool of any sort of fish and shunt, but there might be some other Pokemon you might want to have on you at the same time. For example, a catching Breloom, just a Pokemon to allow that catch to be a lot easier when you do encounter that shiny, the false swipe, the spore, super important. Uh, this Pokemon specifically is going to be really important for uh, a very specific spot. Not this Pokemon specifically, but a high level ghost Pokemon because we're going to encounter a situation where a Pokemon will be able to kill itself unless you have a high level ghost pokemon on you so that'll be important for that specific spot and we'll cover that in more detail uh, we also have a payday meowth which is goes along with the same spot you can payday while doing this sort of fishing shunt it'll make it a lot longer but you'll also be able to make a ton of pokeen on the way to the shunt I remember calculating it out recently, and it takes something like 1,500 hours on average to get a shiny Dratini over at the Dragon Spiral Tower spot, which we'll be covering today, which is an absurd amount of time, but you also end up making around 150 mil Poke Yen or so, or more, 150 to 200 million Poke Yen on the way to that hunt. So even though it's an extremely long hunt, by the end of it, you'll have an OT shiny Dratini and a disgusting amount of Poke Yen. Now, I also have this level 100 just damp Pokemon on me. I actually don't know if any of the Pokemon we'll be encountering today will have Explosion or will need to be aware of this, but honestly, I usually just bring it just in case. And the last Pokemon you need is a nice OT Shiny to go ahead and flex to the Peasants. All right, but now that all of that is out of the way, let's go ahead and get to our first spot. I'm going to cover the first two spots in Unova. The first one is going to be north of Undela Town, so we're going to go ahead and start in Undela Town head north and we're going to be going to the same location where i did my loot from one hour of star you if you watched that or are familiar with that it's right up here on route 13 on the water now for star you you just run back and forth but here you actually want to fish with the super rod and you'll be able to encounter shelter quite often and shelter is a really cool shiny in my opinion if you haven't seen it i'll go ahead and bring it up for you there's the shelter encounter right there hopefully there's one on the gtl today but it's a really nice orange shiny really really drastic color change which i think most people are a huge fan of i'm a huge fan of i love shelter uh, if you don't like this incredibly drastic orange which i really love you also might like cloister cloister itself also has a very cool shiny i prefer shelter personally but a lot of people might prefer the blue of cloister it's definitely up to personal preference but this is a fantastic little shiny hunting location you can also payday here since they are level 52. But that's pretty much it. Pretty simple stuff. Really good spot. A lot of shelter here uh, and really great shinies, whichever one you prefer. Let's go ahead and move on to the next location. The next location you've probably heard me talk about a ton or maybe even seen me using my own free time or own play time on my live stream here on YouTube Monday through Thursday Eastern. I stream uh, at around 12 p.m. usually. So starting here in Icarus City, we're going to go ahead and bike up north up to Dragon Spiral Tower. This is where I like to bring my payday Pokemon to be able to payday at this location. And this is the location where you absolutely need a high level ghost type Pokemon because if you happen to encounter a shiny Basculin, you have to be ready for it. Bastion has Final Gambit, which is a fighting type move, which instantly kills itself, as well as um, Double Edge, which is obviously going to give itself a recoil and hurt itself in that way. So if you have a ghost type Pokemon, you can switch it in and you're able to avoid both of those and he will not be able to kill himself. It's a really big deal. Really, really important. You never want to lose. Even though it's a shiny Bastion, not the best shiny in the world, you never want to lose it. Now, it's important to note that there's an 80% chance to encounter Bastion here. So it's still a tough hunt. You don't want the shiny Bastion. We want the shiny Dragonair slash Dratini. There's a 5% chance to encounter Dragonair, a 15% chance to encounter Dratini, and then a 80% chance for Bastion. So a 20%, 20 to 80 sort of ratio is what you're looking at. 
and you really just have to uh, be consistent. You know, persevere, uh, go for it. It's a tough shunt. Most people are going to end up getting one, two, three, four shiny Basculins on average on the way to their shiny Dratini, and there's no quick way around it. It's just tough. You just got to try to get lucky. Um, it's a brutal hunt. Shiny Bastillon sucks, but shiny Dratini, I mean, as many of you as many of you probably know, uh, just a beautiful shiny. It's probably one of the most beloved shinies in all of Pokemon. Uh, Dratini, Dragonair, uh, Dragonite. There's Dragonair. Beautiful, beautiful pink shiny Dratini. Just a small little worm pink shiny. Dragonite is a lot more coin flip. You either love it or hate it. I kind of like it. I definitely prefer Dragonair, but I still, you know, respect and love myself a shiny Dragonite. So definitely up to personal preference. But this is this fantastic spot, the best spot to hunt shiny Dratini in the game. All right, the next location is actually going to be Sinnoh, which I don't actually do too much Sinnoh content in my videos because Sinnoh kind of sucks. But all right, this location will be right here north of resort area. So it's going to be kind of far from the PC. So prepare for a little bit of a trek. Starting here, we're going to be hopping on our bike. Make sure you have your sticky hole or such a cup Pokemon. Don't get blocked by the NPC. We're going to head up here. I'm actually going to make sure I pop a repel because we're going to go through a little bit of grassy area. Uh, keep heading north. You essentially just trek your way north and north and north and just stay on the path. Don't go up any ledges or anything. Don't have to get fancy. Don't have to get complicated. Just head north and north and north and north and north. Keep going north. Yep, that's right. Keep going north. And once you reach this building, head west into it. We are actually heading to a Relicanth spot, or at least the best spot to hunt Shiny Relicanth in the game. And this is the location. Let's see. Hopefully, there is a Shiny Relicanth on the GTL, and I can show it to you guys because... I think Shiny Relicanth is a super underrated Shiny. Unfortunately, there is not. Maybe I'll do some editing. I don't know. I'm terrible at editing. Maybe I'll pop him up on screen right now. Hopefully, we'll see. But this location, there is an uncommon encounter rate for Relicanth, which really isn't too bad for a single encounter Pokemon. That's kind of where I draw the line. I think if a Pokemon is uncommon spawn rate in the wild, I'm willing to go ahead and uh, single encounter or shunt it in that way. But if it's rare or more, usually I will end up egg shunting it, unfortunately, which you want to avoid egg shunting at all costs. Now, there is also Gyarados and Seedra here at a very common rate. So some people, you know, Gyarados is not the best shiny. You don't really want to get Gyarados here just because there is a times five horde for Magikarp. Now, not to say Gyarados and Magikarp are bad shinies. I would love a shiny Magikarp of my own one day. Here's a Relicanth example. Um, but... When you can get something in a times five horde, why would you want to get it in a single fishing encounter? It kind of feels like you wasted time. It's, it's, it's a bad feeling, right? But Seedra, on the other hand, is actually a great shiny to go ahead and get here. And Horsey is actually one of our other spots. So this is the Relicant spot. Let's go ahead and transition smoothly over to that Horsey spot. All right, now there are quite literally a million spots to be able to shiny hunt horsey. So I'm going to be go ahead and using this example in Kanto, but really just go to the Pokedex, go to the wild locations, find one of them that says very common and just go to it if you have access to it. There's a ton of ways to shiny hunt horsey. So whichever one works best for you. If you don't know, shiny horsey in the whole Kindra line sort of is like very, very purple. And it's a very good shiny line. In my opinion, there's one horsey up except for horsey, of course. There's very, very nice uh, teal blue. Blue, I guess I would say. Let's go ahead and check Seedra. I know Kindra is a nice purple. Kindra should be up. Hopefully there's at least one Kindra. Yep, there we go. Very, very nice, beautiful purple color. If you care about purple shinies, Kindra might be worth going ahead and check out. There's also a ton of shiny hunting spots. Like I said, with that Seedra and Relicanth spot that have other shinies you might want to get, like that Relicanth that feature a fantastic shiny in Seedra. But you just want to come right here, literally right here to the east of Island 1's PC. It's so, so close right here. Just go ahead and pop, pop a squat, start fishing, and you should be able to encounter some horsey. Now, it should be a very common encounter, so of course I don't get one of my first fish. I'll keep trying. There we go. Second fish. That makes sense. Very, very common encounter. You could sit here and farm horsey all day if you'd like to. You could payday if you really want here. Probably not really worth since it's only they're only level 32. You're not making that much pokey in. Um, the pickup items probably aren't great, but maybe it's worth testing. It's up to you. I would just go ahead and use your sticky hold, use your suction cups, and just maximize those encounters per hour. All right, but that's it for spot number four. Let's go ahead and move on to the fifth and final spot. And honestly, one of my favorites that I'm planning to be shunting a lot because I really, really want to get this big, beautiful, purple, shiny whale. All right, so we're going to be heading over to the Hoenn region, and right here at the dock, when you enter in Slateport City, you can just come right over here, pop a squat, and it's actually going to be a 100% encounter rate for Shiny Whalmer. And if you don't know, Shiny Whalmer slash Whalord are just great shinies, and the best part about them is that Whalord has the biggest follower sprite in the game. So... 
if you can get a shiny of the biggest follower sprite in the game, you know, it maximizes the chance of your flex. It maximizes the chance of people seeing a big, dumb, stupid purple whale following you around, blubbering itself all over the place. It's fantastic. I would personally love to get a shiny whale lord at some point. I really hope to in the near future. Just a really, really easy spot. Just sit here, chill, pop fishing over and over and over again, run away until a shiny sticky hold it up. Just This is just a fantastic location right next to a PC, quite literally right next to the dock in Slateport City. Just can't get better than this. Just such a casual, chill, easy shiny, but still going to take a lot of time, so be prepared to grind. I actually used to shiny hunt over, I believe, at this city over here, Moss Deep City. If you go south of that, there's a 50% encounter rate for Sharpedo and a 50% encounter rate for Whalmer. So if you want to kind of roll the dice, you can do that, but I just want Whalmer. So I went ahead and actually switched over to this location, even though I did a lot of shiny hunting at that location without knowing there was a 100% Whalmer location. It's pretty crazy. It's crazy how long you can play this game and how much information can still just be out of reach of your fingertips and how you always just are learning things every day. It's a really, really deep game there's a ton of information to know about but anyways that should hopefully wrap things up if you guys have any questions let me know in the comments down below if this video was helpful remember to leave a little like on it it helps out a ton remember to consider to subscribe to the channel i do upload daily pokemon content and i would love to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year thank you all so much for watching i do truly appreciate your time there's also a discord link down below if you want to join a really cool community and check that out and if you want to go above and beyond paypal link and Stuff like that is linked below, but you never need to do that. It's just appreciated. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Best of luck shiny hunting. Hopefully you guys don't go as dry as I am, but you know what? Happens to the best of us. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Hey, if you're seeing this clip, that means you watched the entire video and thank you. From the bottom of my heart, that means a lot. And this clip is used to say thank you so much to any of those who go above and beyond, any YouTube members, Twitch primers, Twitch subs, Patreon, whatever you may do to support the channel. It's appreciated and your name is here. Thank you all so much and have a great day.